Hello everyone. Um, my family and I took a trip out to Colorado this summer and we did a little bit of camping off grid and we needed to have a power source to help power our electronics and our refrigerator and our camper. So we bought a little solar generator and solar panel off of Amazon and I wanted to make this video uh, to maybe help you make a decision if you were thinking about buying one. Uh, we put ours through the test and we were highly impressed. Good morning from Colorado. Um, we are off-grid camping. There's no power hookups. Uh, they have um, bathrooms that you can use and there's water spigots, but as far as the campsites, there's no amenities here. We are uh, outside of Frisco in Dillon, Colorado. Uh, for our trip that we planned, we needed electricity to run uh, the refrigerator and charge all of our electronics. So we decided to go with the Watt Fun 320 off of Amazon. Um, I wanted to do a little review about that. I am highly impressed with it and I'll show you what it looks like. So we don't have a very big camper. We have the Nobo uh, 10.6 and it doesn't take up a lot of electricity. So we just went with a smaller solar panel. This is uh, just a generic 100 watt solar panel. Um, even in direct sunlight, it can only pull about 63 watts. So you're not getting the full 100 watts. It says it does in the laboratory, but they're not, they're using something other than the sun. I mean, this is direct sunlight today. There's few clouds in the sky, as you can see. Uh, so it's getting direct sunlight right now and it's making 63 watts. So the solar panel has a little controller here on the side that converts the energy and it, you can run the main line off to plug it into your solar generator. So it's storing power there. And then it has a USB-C and a USB normal. And currently I've, I'm charging a Garmin. And then off of the solar generator, we're charging a Garmin watch, some earbuds, and the actual camper is plugged into it. So this solar panel is charging two Garmin's, some earbuds, the camper and itself off of the sun. On the front of the Watt Fun, you have your power button here, and then you have a LED light. There's three, three levels of brightness, so you can go low light, medium light, or high light, and the high light will blind you, I will say. You have your uh, 10 and 12 volt cigarette lighter plug-in, so you can charge things off of that. Uh, here is the solar input, and you have two normal USB ports and a nice uh, Type-C. And then on this side, you have two outlets. I'm only able to use one of them right now because the camper outlet is so huge. And there's a little reset button underneath right here if anything ever happens. Um, so you can use all this stuff at the same time. Um, all the things that I have plugged in right now are only pulling 30 watts. Um, my son just informed me that inside the camper, he's also charging his switch. So the switch is charging along with all the other stuff here. So that's pretty impressive. Um, so you have a little LED display here and it shows you the actual Watt Fun's battery level. So I'm at 93% right now. Um, it shows how long till full charge. It shows how much uh, energy that you're pulling from the sun, and then it flips over and shows um, how much energy you're actually using currently. So like I said, I don't know if you can see that. It's only pulling 63 and we're using 31, so it's actually making a gain right now. Uh, and I guess on video, this is gonna blink. So I bought the Togo Power and the uh, Watt Fun at the same time. Uh, the Togo Power, its main benefit is that you can cordlessly charge your phone by laying it on the top. Um, you cannot cordless charge your phone on this one, but you can plug it in. So, I mean, that doesn't make that big of a difference. Um, there are two different types of lithium ion batteries. So you get 500 cycles out of the Togo Power. 
and the watt fund allegedly you get 2000 cycles before you get to 80% of each one. That doesn't mean the battery's ruined and you have to throw it away. You're just at 80% at that point. So in review, I just wanted to say this was an honest review. I actually bought the watt fund uh, system. Um, so I'm not sponsored or anything. Um, it has been great for what we are using it for. Um, it charges super quick while charging everything else. Uh, you can use it at nighttime and bleed it down to charge the camper, um, coolers, refrigerators, heaters, whatever you need to do. And then in the daytime, you throw the solar panel out and charge the battery back up while you're using it. Uh, I can't say enough about it. Um, I will check out the Togo when I get home and make a review on it. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this review helpful, leave a comment in the comment section and hopefully I'll be making more of these videos in the future. Thanks.